Five biblical advice given to us in our times of anger. A pleasant good night to you, dear friend. This is yours truly, Brother Dwight Finley, and I'm coming to you live from Gospel Explosion. Now, Gospel Explosion is a YouTube channel, one that is inspired and motivated by God, one that digs deeply inside the scriptures for answers, answers to questions that has baffled the human minds for ages and questions that has baffled the minds of the major scientists of this world. But before we dig deeply inside the scriptures, let us utter a word in prayer to our Lord and God Christ Jesus. Almighty God, you see and you know all things. Let your mighty way and your mighty will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Number one, and the scripture reading comes to us from Proverbs 15, verse 1, and it reads, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. So, dear friend, whenever time you're in a discussion, especially a heated one, pick wisely the words that you utter. Remember now that the tongue is the deadliest member of one's body. So be careful how you choose your words, dear friend. Number two, and we are still in the book of Proverbs. Turn with me, dear friend, to chapter 17, verse 14. And the word of God reads, The beginning of strife is as when one let it out water. Therefore leave off contention before it be meddled with. So the word of God encourages us, dear friend, that when a strife would have begun, that we ought not to add to the contention, but rather be peacemakers, so that the situation does not escalate into something that could have been prevented be a peacemaker my brother be a peacemaker my sister and if you see that the situation is getting out of control it is always good to stop and count to ten and read a scripture or sing a hymn in your heart it works wonders dear friend and God is able Number three, and now we turn to the book of Ephesians. We're at Ephesians 4, verse 26, and it reads, Be ye angry, and sin not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So God urges us that we should not allow unforgiveness to stay with us until the next day but instead we are to pray and ask God to free our hearts you know and let the person in whom the heated conversation is with be reminded that you have indeed forgiven them let not any man be the cause of you losing your crown. But instead, trust in God and pray throughout the most terrible of situations. But do not seek to take all things in your hands. Because some things are not to be solved after of us but of God so do not let anger do not let the sun go down on your wrath but be ye a forgiver number four and we turn to the book of James James chapter 1 verse 19 and it reads 
Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. So be slow to anger, brethren. Be humble. Remain humble even when the other person is not humble. Remain humble. Let him see or let her see a difference within you. Because for some people, you will be the only Christ that they ever see in this lifetime. Five and last. And we turn to the book of Ecclesiastes 7 verse 9. Listen to this, dear friend. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. <laughs> the word of God is direct, dear friend. It cuts sharper than any two-edged sword. And it reminds us that anger rested in the bosoms of fools. So he who gets angry and keeps that anger, the Bible describes that one as a fool. So be not fools, brethren, but be ye slow to wrath. And God will work through your patience. Until then, this is yours truly, Brother Dwight Finley. And I hope that you, dear friend, will be humble even unto the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Until then, have a blessed night.